It's for the benefit of these guys who can't go out and play ball on a dirt field. We're finally getting to do something that we've never been able to do before. It's family, it's just not about baseball, it's a family. It's really just a blessing to come out and see them be children. It's an opportunity for all of us to make a difference. This is probably the only sport that you come and cheer for both sides. The Miracle League was a vision of a woman who had a son with special needs and she had always had a dream that she would have the ability to take her son out to a ball field and let him participate. This began over 10 years ago and today they have over 240 of these organizations functioning. The percentage of special needs in New Hanover County and surrounding counties is much higher than in other parts of the country. Almost 19% of the population here qualifies as special needs. I have been blessed to have a son with Down syndrome. Unfortunately in Wilmington, what's available is not truly accessible to persons with real need, meaning wheelchairs accessible and walkers and things of that nature. My favorite sport is T-ball. One time last year, there was so much dirt on the field that her front wheels turned, and she just went, you know. But she, she didn't crash, horrible. she didn't, she got up, she ran, I think she still beat the throw. I'm embarrassing. The baseball fields here in Wilmington that are not level for special needs kids. The wheelchairs get bogged down in the sand. Most baseball fields are not wheelchair accessible, nor do they provide a platform for children or young adults with special needs. The Miracle Field is consisting of a rubber platform and has the schematics of a baseball field included on it. They are completely flat. Everything is painted into it, the lines, the bases, in a wheelchair or a walker or crutches or any kind of mobility difficulty can be on that. It's for the benefit of these, these guys who can't go out and play ball on a dirt field. We're finally getting to do something that we've never been able to do before. This is just as real to these kids as playing in the pros. It's a blast. It just gives them the opportunity to be a child, a normal child, and have those daily interactions to get out and participate with kids their own age. And it's really just a blessing to come out and see them be children and not be confined to their houses. And for a lot of them, it's the one time they get out to interact with other kids. All the kids love to hear their name introduced, get up to bat, get to run the bases and score, and and uh, be able to participate in activities they may normally not be able to participate in. We shouldn't forget how important it is for these kids to just get out and play because a lot of times these children do not have a gym class as a part of their school curriculum. They don't have a lot of physical activity opportunities and just getting out and running around is just so key. From a parent's perspective, several things come to mind. And one is my child is now a participant. My child is now a team member. You finally get to have those normal kinds of experiences. This is a real support network. Baseball is how we do it, but the outcome is that it becomes a community of friends, encouragement, and support. And these, these families have a lot of heavy things to handle. There's also a buddy system within this. We think it's very important that that buddy is very consistent because part of this should be that you're developing a relationship. And when I go play with this kid and help them, I'm going to find out what a great kid they are. The buddies, well, there are a lot of times they're a sponsor. They come out, certain corporations will sponsor for that week and all their employees will come out. We have youth groups that come out. We have church groups that come out. We have Cub Scouts. I mean, it is a community involved. The field's going to be located in Olson Park, which is right off of Interstate 40 near North Chase, and it's a beautiful new facility. There are currently five existing softball fields, and in the middle of this complex sits this open field where we want to build the Miracle League. And that has led to putting up a very inclusive, wheelchair-accessible playground. When you would look at this playground, you will not see a handicapped playground. You're going to see a great playground for all children to play on. Playgrounds for me are foreign almost. I've never had an extensive opportunity to play on a playground. It's something that will set your city apart as being a city that puts a value on what these members of our community 
need and what, what they're all about. As great as it is for the players, their families, it will be even greater for the people that give money and come out and volunteer. There's just no way to explain to folks unless you can go out and watch a game and watch that enthusiasm, the need for this opportunity for children with special needs and adults and military people that come back disabled. I mean, this is endless, the people that can use this field. Initially, just to put in the preliminary elements of the project, which are the field and a playground, we are talking significant dollars. Each Miracle League is a local group. You are not taking money and sending it anywhere but to your very own neighborhood, and it helps the kids in your community. We need about $750,000 to, to make this happen, and it's an opportunity for the community. It's an opportunity for all of us to make a difference. Finally, I'd like to appeal to all of you who have taken the time and the interest in the Miracle League. This is an opportunity for us all to give something back to this community, which will have a lasting return. We hope that corporations, foundations, families, and individuals will all take the time to seriously consider giving something back that will help 19% of this population enjoy some events that they've never been able to participate in before. We need your support. I'm asking for your support, and I thank you. Hey, boy.